Good morning. It's about 7.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. We're just about to leave for our trip to Pennsylvania. Um, we're meeting my in-laws there at the place and we're staying at this really, really beautiful hotel called the Amish View Inn. One of the things we love about it, not only is it super clean and family friendly, but they also have suites. So it's perfect because we can put Henry in one bedroom and us in the other, and then he goes to bed earlier than we do so we can stay up and not worry about bothering him. But it's just the nicest place. They have a full free breakfast in the morning. I highly recommend it if you are planning to take a trip to Amish country. So here's my suitcase. It's all packed and ready to go. I have Henry's stuff in here as well as mine. So I'll definitely show you guys later once we get to the hotel or one of the days that we're there. I'll show you what I packed as far as makeup and skincare and things like that. So I'm just waiting for my husband to get out of the shower and then we're gonna put everything in the car and head out by eight o'clock. Okay, so here's our hotel room and uh, sorry about the mess, but we're just, we haven't unpacked yet. So when you first walk in, there's a living room area and also there's a kitchen over here. And then there are two bedrooms in the suite. So one is down this hallway here and then one's down that hallway around the corner. So um, I'll show you this bedroom first. So this is the one my son is gonna be sleeping in here. So you have your bed, chair, and then there's also a bathroom on this side. And then around the corner here is the bedroom that me and my husband stay in. So that's on this side. It's pretty much the same, but it's a really pretty hotel. Everything is super clean. Um, they give you like a little sink over here um, TV in this cabinet, a little desk, and then another uh, bathroom. And this bathroom actually um, doesn't have a shower like the other one. It has like a big soaking tub, which is really nice as well. All right, so now that we are here and I'm packing, I wanted to show you the makeup that I brought on my trip. And I always take this little train case with me. It Cosmetics had given this to me. It's not something that you can buy. It was just a gift from them. Um, so first I brought my Beauty Junkies eyeshadow brush set. Um, this is available on Amazon. And I mentioned in my last video when I was doing my Two Look Tuesday with the Milani palettes that these are my favorite eyeshadow brushes. Um, they're affordable. This whole set is, I think, $24. So it's a really good deal and they're amazing brushes. So I always bring that little pouch with me. And then palette-wise, I brought two this time. And these are smaller palettes that just fit right into the train case. The Persona Identity Palette, I brought this on my last vacation and it's just awesome because not only is the formula great but the color selection in here is perfect so you can get some cool tone looks you can get some warm tone looks it's so versatile so anything that you're going to be wearing on your trip you can definitely pull this out and be able to create a look to match it so that's what makes this one of my favorite palettes in addition to being slim and travel friendly and also an amazing formula. I also brought the new Milani Soft and Sultry palette because I just love, love, love this palette and I just wanted to get a chance to play with it more since it's new. And it's also just a really nice neutral palette. You can create looks with this that'll go with just about you know any outfit you're wearing or anything. So that's eyeshadow. And then for face, I brought my Coats primer. This is SPF 40, it's my holy grail face primer because it has that SPF in it as well and every time I use this I don't have to worry about wearing SPF on my face it's such a good strong SPF it works amazingly and it also fills in lines and pores on your face and just makes everything look smooth so I love that it also doesn't have a scent it's so good and for foundation, the only one that I brought is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost. This is what I wear the most in the summertime. It's just a really light layer, nothing too full coverage, but um, I just like it because it has a really natural look. And when I'm on vacation and I'm outside all the time, the last thing I want is like a heavy type of foundation mask. So I really like that. And then I figure I can always add concealer to areas that I need it. And the concealer that I brought is the CoverGirl True Blend. It's lit. This is um, sort of like a brightening concealer. 
And the name would suggest that it has shimmer in it, but it doesn't. I think they just mean that it's not a matte formula. It's very luminous on the skin. It just doesn't make your face look dry. So that's why I like it. It's a really thin formula. Kind of reminds me of the Maybelline Age Rewind one that I like so much. And then for blush, I brought two ColourPop uh, cream blushes. This is a Holiday, which is a brighter pop of color. And then this one is Between the Sheets. I like to wear these alone sometimes, and I also layer other blushes on top of them. Um, and then I, for blush, I also brought the new Jouer. Well, this isn't new, but it's new to me. I just got it right before the trip. It's the Jouer um, Blush Duo in Adore. And these colors are so pretty. Just really neutral, easy to wear, sort of peachy pink, and then like a nude. Really, really gorgeous. And I'm loving these so far. Jouer just came to Sephora, so that's why I had ordered that right before the trip. And then also... I brought the little mini Benefit Gold Rush blush, which is just, again, a really like pretty peachy pink. It's very soft, but what I love about this one is it has a little bit of a glow to it, and the other blushes that I brought are all matte, so I just wanted to take this one along in case I wanted a little bit of more of a glowy look to my cheeks. I didn't bring any highlighter because I don't usually wear a lot of highlighter, and I just figured if I wanted sort of more of a highlighted look, I would use that one. I also brought this primer, which is my L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. This is my favorite primer because it just makes my skin look so smooth. And I figured, you know, if we were going out at night and I was going to do my makeup over, like if I took a shower in the afternoon, I would put this on instead of the SPF one. Um, and then, oh, here's a blush brush. I love this blush brush. It's the e.l.f. one. I think it was like three bucks, but I love how small it is. And it's just really easy to get, put the blush exactly where I want it on my cheeks instead of going everywhere I'm not a huge fan of like those giant blush brushes because I feel like the blush goes everywhere my face isn't that big so I like this little um, little one there um, oh and then for brows I had actually brought the cover girl the little new skinny brow brush that they have and it ran out already I haven't even had it that long so I'm glad that I brought backups I had gotten um, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Boost and Set, which I was using with the CoverGirl one. So I would use that to fill in my brows and then this one to set them. This one has a little bit of tint to it. So you can actually use this alone if you don't have a lot of filling in to do. Um, and then I also brought the Soap and Glory Archery Brow Pencil, which has uh, the brow pencil on one end and the gel on the other. So this one is awesome for travel. And then for lashes, I brought my Rapid Lash, which I use every single day, and it's really helped to make my lashes extra long and full, and they don't fall out like they used to. So this is absolutely amazing, and I can really get more of a false lash look without using false lashes with that, so that's why I love that stuff. And then for mascara, I had brought along the new L'Oreal Lash Paradise Primer, I really like this stuff a lot. I know L'Oreal makes some great lash primers, but this one is really good. It's actually pink tinted. And then I also brought the Koki Volume and Length Mascara. This is one of my favorites lately. I just love it. It doesn't smudge on me. It just gives me like really soft, fluttery, gorgeous lashes. I love it. It's amazing. And then eyeliners. I brought three different ones. Uh, the Marc Jacobs Highliner. This is just a little sample that I got at Sephora. Um, this is the black one. And then I also brought the Pixie uh, Endless Silky Eye Pen in Copper Glow, which is just a really pretty sort of coppery color. And then the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in, what color is this? It's a brown one, Best O. So it's like a deep brown. So those are liners. And then last up is lip products. Oh, I brought my little tweezer. And then for lip products, I brought one actual lipstick, and that's the Flower Beauty Petal Pout in Naked Blush. This is my favorite shade. It's a perfect everyday your lips but better color. It's so pretty. If I can twist it up with one hand, there we go. Yeah, it's just, I love this color so much. I brought a bunch of glosses. So I brought two of the Neutrogena Hydra Boost glosses. This thing's about to tip over now because it's almost empty. Um, the Neutrogena Hydra Boost glosses in Almond Nude and Pink Mocha. These two are my favorite shades. They're just really easy to wear. And then I also brought the Dose of Colors 
gloss in on repeat and the Koki lip veneer in legend these are probably all the glosses that I wear the most and they all look like they're kind of very similar colors but that's just what I like I brought my bite beauty agave lip mask and this is the maple one so it has a little bit of sort of a bronzy nude color to it and um, so you can wear it during the day or wear it at night I use it during the day because it has the color and then at night I use my Laneige lip mask which I also brought in my skincare bags good morning it's day two and we had a really nice breakfast down in the lobby of the hotel they have a full breakfast you can get eggs and bacon and pancakes and basically everything um, and now we're gonna head out to Dutch Wonderland which is a little theme park that's very close by um, it's really cute so I will see you guys there And here's what I brought for skincare. Everything fit in this little bag except for these. Um, and these are the Skin Food Rice Brightening Facial Cleansing Tissues. I love these so much. These are like my holy grail face wipes. They come with 80 in the pack for like 12 bucks. They have lots of vitamins and antioxidants in them. So they're really, really good for your skin. And then I also brought my little mini size Skin Food Black Sugar Mask, which is my absolute favorite. I just got this as a sample when I ordered with them. It's not something that you can buy but I figured I would hold on to it and just take it on trips this summer because I love that scrub again it's my holy grail scrub of all time it's amazing and then for face wash I just brought this little sample I got from I think it was Sephora or maybe Ulta and it's the Shiseido extra creamy cleansing foam and I really really like this so far I've used it in the past so I knew I could safely bring it with me and that I would like it and then also um, we have the Pixie Retinol Tonic. I brought this to use at night. This is, the, again, the small version, the travel version that they sell. And I really, really am enjoying this so far. It's not like the other Pixie Glow Tonic where it's a little bit more harsh and has the, acid, the fruit acids in it to exfoliate. This one has retinol, but it also is very, very soothing and hydrating on the skin. So I brought that to use at night. And then the Claire's... Um, supple preparation facial toner to use during the day which I've been using forever and ever as well I love this toner so much it's a Korean brand um, and it's not too expensive but while we were here and I was out at Target I spotted this one the Thayer's witch hazel rose petal uh, toner that so many of you guys had recommended to me when in a video uh, a couple weeks ago I think and I love it I've been using this since I was here I have hardly touched these two because I got this on the first day and it's amazing I thought a witch hazel toner was going to be drying on my skin but this particular formula is alcohol free and it's very hydrating for dry skin I love it so thank you guys so much for that recommendation and it also helps because this is more of a drugstore priced option so it'll go well with my new drugstore skincare routine <laughs> And then I have my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which is my favorite Holy Grail lip product at nighttime. It's so good. It keeps your lips so soft, especially when you wake up in the morning. Your lips just feel so plumped and amazing. 
And then I have my Milani Rose Face Oil, which I use on top of my other products. Once I'm done, this is my last layer at night. It just kind of seals everything in and makes my skin super soft. And then I've really been into number seven skincare lately. I got these again for my drugstore skincare video that I have coming up, so I won't go into too much detail with these. But basically, the ingredients in here are really, really good. I've been sort of researching drugstore formulas because I like more high-tech skincare. I like good ingredients and I'm sort of a label reading junkie so um, I wanted to make sure that I was getting products that were really effective and these seem to fit the bill so I've been using them for just a couple of weeks now and I just want to use them a little bit longer until I can do my video on them but um, for now I'll just show you what they are so um, this serum I've been using during the daytime it's the early defense glow activating serum this one they actually sent to me and I hadn't used it until I was ready to kind of do this skincare mm -hmm. review and and I really like how it makes my skin feel. It makes my skin feel really smooth. But when I did some research on these products after the fact, um, I found that this is actually meant for slightly younger skin, like in, if you're in your 20s, the early defense line is more of like sort of a preventative um, skincare line for when you don't really have any fine lines or wrinkles or you know, you're kind of trying to prevent those early signs of aging. So this isn't really for my age group at this point because I already do have fine lines so I don't know that this is the strongest thing for me to use but I just wanted to use it up anyway. So then with my own money I purchased the Lift and Luminate line or at least a few products from it. Um, so I got the serum, the night cream which I also use during the day and the eye cream and so far this one is fantastic. I love the results I've been getting. So I'll keep you guys updated and hopefully I will get that drugstore skincare video out very soon. And then when it comes to like bath and body stuff, I usually use the shower gel that they provide at the hotel or the soap, whatever it is. But when it comes to shampoo and conditioner, I do bring my own almost everywhere we go because typically the shampoo and conditioner at the hotel is not hydrating enough for my hair. My hair is really damaged. And lately I've been trying out the new Olaplex. I got it right before the trip. So I figured I'd bring it along plus the bottles are small so they're kind of easy to travel with. I also bring my son's Burt's Bees shampoo and body wash because if he gets soap in his eyes he gets upset so um, I brought this which is tear free and then I also brought this deodorant which is the secret coconut splash. I love coconut scents so when I saw that I knew I had to get it and then um, the Gold Bond Radiance Renewal. As you can see, this tube is almost gone already. I got this a few weeks back and I think I showed it in a vlog and it really makes my skin so smooth. It has alpha hydroxy acids in it that help exfoliate the dead skin on the top layer and it's amazing. It's such a good body lotion. Plus it smells like coconut as well. So bonus points for that.
we just got home from our trip and right after we got all the bags out of the car it started downpouring and thunderstorming so uh, it just feels good to be home we had such a long ride it was supposed to be about four hours but we were in the car for about five and a half we hit some traffic plus we stopped to eat some lunch so it was a long day but uh, just super glad to be home I have a few packages that came so I'll open those up and share them with you guys right now so first up I got a box from persona cosmetics and they sent over their brand new season one matte liquid lipsticks these are infused with avocado oil and shea butter and they come in three different shades they are $16 each and will be available at Ulta in August, but they're already available on their website now. And I do have a discount code that I'll link below for you guys to save 10%. So these are paraben free, highly pigmented, cruelty free, and long lasting. So from what I've seen on their Instagram, these are supposed to be very long lasting, but also super hydrating and that it took them a long time to get a formula that was both you know hydrating that's not going to dry out your lips and also stays put on your lips so um, i'm really really excited to try these because i absolutely love their eyeshadow palette which i brought with me on vacation as you saw earlier in the video as well as their highlighters they're amazing so uh, let me swatch these three colors for you guys Okay, so here's the packaging, and I love how it's just very simple and sleek and elegant, super pretty. And then here are the swatches. The top one is OG, and that's just a classic nude. The middle one is Flamingo, which is a fresh mauve pink. And then the bottom one is Holy Grail, and it's a true fiery red. Just swatching these for the first time, they feel very like soft and almost moussey. So I'm just super excited to play with these. I can't wait, and I'll definitely update you guys once I... You you know tried them out for a little bit and then I also got the replacement palettes from my makeup revolution order if you follow me on Instagram you might have remembered that a couple of weeks ago I ordered the four of their new reloaded palettes that are available on their UK website um, and they're not available at Ulta yet but hopefully they're coming soon so I just wanted to get them ahead of the Ulta launch so that I could test them out for you guys and two of them came completely shattered so these are the two that are getting replaced. So this one is Reloaded Basic Matte. So this is all matte shades. And then this one is Reloaded Neutrals 3. So it's just more like warm tones. And then I'll just show you the other two really quick that came in before that were not shattered. Um, this one is Visionary. Really pretty, more like purple. This one actually reminds me of Norvina quite a bit. And then this one I feel like is a dupe for soft glam and this one is velvet rose so I'll definitely do a video on those really soon and then I also ordered another palette from shop hush and this is the bad habit divine palette which look like it's supposed to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona star palette so I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what it looks like I don't have the star palette unfortunately so I can't compare the two but that's at least what it looked like from the pictures that I saw online all right so here is what that looks like inside a lot of really neutral shades but also some pretty pops of color I like the gold and the reds and that turquoise is gorgeous um, so you know nothing too groundbreaking but I don't know I just collect all of their palettes now because I think they're just really good quality for the money and dupes of palettes that were too expensive for me to buy originally so I'm happy to at least have the dupe and all of these shades in one spot and then I also got a box from First Aid Beauty and they sent over their new Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer and Hello Fab Kona Eye Stick I've seen these on, I think, Trend Mood's Instagram page. These are launching at Sephora very soon, if they haven't already. Um, let's see if it says anything in here about the launch date. Yes, Sephora and Sephora.com in August, which we're in now. So these might already be available on the website itself. So um, let's see, there are eight, no, seven shades of the concealer and then the Kona eye sticks. So let's see what these are supposed to do. The concealer is flexible, super food infused concealer, looks and acts like a second skin, providing weightless full coverage that moves with your complexion without cracking, creasing, or caking. The seven adaptable shades are formulated for the delicate eye area, but are perfect for anywhere your skin can use a touch up. And then the Kona eye stick, it says give tired eyes an instant pick me up with the new Hello Fab. Kona eye stick. This cooling, invigorating three-in-one eye stick hydrates and depuffs the under eye area 
while simultaneously working as a makeup gripping primer to perfectly prep skin for smooth concealer and eyeshadow application. So that's really interesting. You can use that underneath your eyes as well as, um, as an eyeshadow primer itself. So very cool. I can't wait to try these out. I'm definitely going to be swatching the concealers on my Instagram page. So if you don't follow me over there, definitely follow me if you want to see what these look like. Also, I can do a review on these. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments below and I will put that together. And that goes for any of the products that I just showed. If you want to see reviews, definitely let me know in the comments. And then last but not least, I got my ColourPop order and I had ordered a new cream blush the super shock cheek in the shade prenup which is one of my favorites it's like a sort of like a dusty rosy mauve color it's really pretty i got two more of the ultra blotted lips because when i ordered the newer colors for summer i got i think vitamin c and i forget what the other one was but they were super pretty i love this formula so much i think it's just gorgeous and easy to wear so i got two more shades which i'll show you in just a second and then I also got the new Kathleen Lights Zodiac palette. So here's the outside. It's really pretty. I love all the different star signs. And then here's the inside. It's a little bit more of a colorful palette, but I feel like the colors aren't super bright overall. They're definitely more muted, but colorful at the same time. So I think I'll definitely get some use out of this one. And then the ultra blotted lips I got in the shades Love Bite and Doozy, and this is what they look like right there. Love Bite's on the top and Doozy is on the bottom. I just really love this formula. I think it's very comfortable. It's not drying like matte liquid lipsticks, and it just gives like a really pretty soft look to your lips. So I really recommend these. They're also really affordable as well. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it a vlog for this week. Um, this was long enough for sure. If you stuck around, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.